Hi, betting experts. On Saturday the 14th of November, first of all, a look back at our two bets on the opening day of the Cheltenham November meeting. We stay at Cheltenham on Saturday, another really competitive, high-class card. We're sure to learn a lot for the future. We start off with our value angle selection in the 325. This is the Paddy Power First Millionaire Qualifier Intermediate Handicap Hurdle, 2 mile 5, Class 3, three three-year-olds and upwards, over £12,000 on offer to the winner. And it does look a really good opportunity for Captain Tom Cat to continue his prolific spell for the good doctor now first of all the yards in terrific form as usual three winners in the last fortnight at a 22 percent strike rate this one has not stopped improving since arriving from ireland where it was a maiden points pointer actually failed to complete on a couple of occasions there but has run really well on every occasion starting off on the first of july at southern when beaten by sanger river under an educational ride but improving to win twice at utoxeter on good ground each time showing a high cruising speed and jumping a bit raggedy but improving with experience winning again under the penalty from Leroy Leroy who's franked the form since then 76 days off straight into a 19 runner Cheltenham handicap upped in trip to this trip today made most of the running um, taken on for the lead and showing a terrific attitude to keep pulling clear basically he's a very sound stayer the ground could be a bit softer here but with his point in background that shouldn't be too much of an issue and to be honest unless they get an absolute deluge at Cheltenham um, it really gets too bad here um, it remains to be seen about the weather but uh, he's a progressive young hurdler with more to come he has gone up in the weights he won on that handicap debut there off 121 he's six pounds high now which i think's on the lenient side he's just the sort of horse that thrives on more racing for the good doctor and i think he'll take a lot of beating here it's a competitive cheltenham race but he is the one who's going forwards for our nap of the day we go to the 215 this is the paddy power gold cup handicap chase two mile four grade three crop class one four-year-olds and upwards a staggering seventy-four thousand pounds on offer to the winner predictably it's attracted a really high quality um, field of young chasers on the up but the one i much prefer is harry whittington simply the bets now this progressive seven-year-old comes from a yard going particularly well he places his horses very carefully harry whittington he's sure to have this one primed as he did with rouge viff um, a very impressive winner last weekend and this one's in the same andrew brooks colors um, four from five over fences last season starting off at chepstow in november on soft ground um, and beating Espoir degree a really useful effort that and thriving every run since only tasting defeat behind Comanche Red at Kempton when dropped right out I don't think Kempton was particularly his track but he showed at Cheltenham really suits him when winning his last two starts at January in the time form novice handicap chase where he beat Imperial Aura and then coming back to the festival to land the Brown advisory Maribel stable play a grade three handicap from Happy Diva showing a terrific attitude there over this course and distance on testing ground um, making a couple of errors but rallying gamely to out battle Happy Diva after the last it was a cracking effort of 149 he's now off 157 so eight pounds higher but there's loads more to come he won't mind if it rains he's a proven mudlark like he's sure to be primed and i'm expecting him to go extremely close best of luck on saturday betting experts